engineers have been assembling and testing tests since its arrival at NASA's Space Center. Its mission is to locate exoplanets that orbit a star, similar to the way the Earth orbits the Sun, and see whether these planets can support life. To find these new worlds, tests will look for dips in the brightness of stars, indicating planets passing in front of them. It is going to survey nearly the entire sky, looking at it, hundreds of thousands of stars, up to millions of stars, looking for new planets orbiting these other stars. Tests will divide the sky into sections, looking at each slice for 27 days before switching to the next area. When it is done, we will have surveyed 85% of the sky for signs of exoplanets. Tests will be building on the mission of the Kepler Space Telescope that launched in 2009, but will soon run out of fuel. Kepler discovered about 2,600 confirmed exoplanets, but they are far away. TESS will spend about two years searching for new worlds closer to our solar system. Planets orbiting stars close enough and bright enough so Earth-bound astronomers can study them in more detail. We can do follow-up measurements, such as getting the mass of the planet and looking at the atmosphere and searching for things like water vapor and even maybe signs of life on the planet. TESS is the mission that is going to detect some of those planets that we first dream of going to in a realistic way. Scientists hope to one day send robots to these planets for further exploration. I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.